Okay, this is a motor from a stomper that I found in a box of parts that I came up with. I've checked it and it is completely non-functional at this point. I've taken a couple clips. I used the bigger clip to grip the sides of the motor to help hold it in this solution. And I've just soldered wires to it. I'm touching them to the ends of a battery and because I don't have a battery holder available at the moment. So just to show you, touch the ends of the wires to the battery and the motor is not responsive at all. I can hold the wires, I can turn the, the gears and it doesn't do anything. <coughs> this is just a jar of jewelry cleaner. I've used it in restoring slot cars and uh, cleaning them up and getting them running better. So leave it hooked up and just drop the whole thing down in the water. I don't know if you can hear it, but it has started running. So just that one quick dip in it and it's helped to clean it up. I'll leave it down in the water and let it run just above it. <coughs> I'll do that two or three times till it runs good and consistent. I don't leave it submerged too long. Uh, don't see the need for it. And it does cause the motor to turn under a little more load in the fluid. But that jewelry cleaner will help to clean the creds out, the clean the contacts. Um, and like I said, I've used this to clean HO scale slot cars. I've connected wires to the pickups and dropped the whole chassis in there. Typically on the stompers, when you, once you get the motor cover off, you can lift the motor out unless you have a need uh, you can't take the motor far because it is the wires on the front are soldered in but you might be able to use a setup similar to this to get the motor down in the fluid a little bit i've got two other engines i'm going to attempt this with so I uh, hope this is going to help somebody. Thanks.